Let's find a new home for your horn. Welcome back to Mayonnaise. Now, as I mentioned in the previous video, one of the last things I have to do on this to wrap up the electrical system is to get the horn mounted and wired in. So the plan for today is to build a bracket to mount the horn underneath the hood and to build a little jumper harness to go from the vehicle wiring to the horn wire. Now, originally the horn would have mounted underneath the left-hand headlight and would have hung off this stud that mounts the headlight to the headlight bar. Obviously, with the drop bar, there's no longer room to mount this in here. Personally, I don't really like the look of having one horn on one side anyway. Kind of an OCD thing where I like things to be symmetrical. Mounting this underneath the hood will actually kind of improve the aesthetics of the front end, I think, anyways. So here's the plan. I'm going to mount the horn underneath the hood here, right in this general vicinity. This should leave enough room so I get to the petcock to drain the coolant and get to the dipstick to check the oil, as well as room for the headlight switch and to get to the fill plug on the steering box. So in keeping with my plan for this car, I want to modify it as little as possible. That means drilling as few holes as possible, or ideally no holes at all. So my plan is to use the rear bolt for the front shock mount right here. I should be able to attach a bracket to the frame without having to drill any additional holes. I save all my heavy brackets and drops and anything I find, throw them in these two built crates and slide them underneath the shelf over there. I don't ever throw that stuff away because you never know when you're going to need it. Digging through that, I found this bracket right here. I think that will work perfectly. It already has holes drilled in it. I already lined it up, test fit it on there, it slid right on over that shock bolt. All I have to do is put a little spacer piece on the bottom of this, take up the slack so that it'll sit right on the frame rail. That way I won't move around. It'll be a good starting point for our horn bracket. I found this little piece of square stock. My plan is to take a chunk of that. We're gonna set it up just like this. This is gonna take up the gap between this bracket and the bottom rail of the frame. Weld that on there. This will fit right into that rear shock mount hole. And this square bar will keep this from rotating. That'll hold it real steady. We'll weld that all together. I think that'll give us a good starting point for our bracket. Got our pieces all cleaned up. The best time to do it is before you weld anything or fit anything. We're gonna fit it back on there, see exactly where this needs to sit, get it marked out, and get that welded. So here's the plan. Got the bracket loosely mounted into the shock mounting bolt, and this short piece is gonna fit right in about here to keep this from rotating around. And now that I'm looking at it, I think I'm actually going to cut a couple more of these and use them, kind of step them out here just to add more support to that. It'll keep this from wanting to rotate up and down like this. So here is the setup. Got our bracket, got our short pieces here. I'm gonna put a few tacks on here, go test fit it, make sure everything lines up good. Finish welding it, and it should be good to go as far as the base of the bracket. There are two other vital components in this operation. Combos and Monster. Make sure you have those or this whole thing will not work. All right, here's where we're at. Got the bracket mounted in here loosely. Spaces are doing their job. It seems to sit pretty flush. It's good and rugged with just that one bolt. Hope you can see what I was trying to do. The spacers take up the gap between that bracket and the frame. That's the shock mounting bolt right there.
So here's where we're at so far. Three bottom pieces welded to the side bracket. I just ran a couple of beads down that side, one on that side. Now if you notice, I did step this back from the edge. The inside of those frame rails in the corner are actually rounded. So if you'd have put this right to that edge, it would have had a square corner in that round corner and it wouldn't have sat right. So I stepped that back a little bit and rounded this edge off so it will make up for that contour on the inside of that just fine. So we'll get that set in place and then try to figure out the rest of the bracket. Definitely overkill for what it is, but I want to make sure there wouldn't be any flex on it. And uh, I don't think there will be on this. So the next step is to make the second part of this bracket. It's going to attach that main bracket to the horn itself. And it just so happens to work out. I flipped this bracket over. It was originally leaning backwards. Flipped it around so now it's pointing forwards. And that should line up just about perfect with a hole in that bracket. So I think a narrow piece of flat metal, put a 90 degree bend in it and drill one more hole in it. And that should hold it right about in that location right there. It should clear the hood, clear everything else. We'll run some wires and it should be good to go. Found this piece in our scrap pile. It already has holes in it, has these edges broken already. I'm pretty sure I can put a 90 in this. This will mount to the side of the existing bracket. This will be flat up here and the horn will mount right on that and right in that hole and I think we'll be good. It actually even lines up with this and that lip will keep this from rotating once it's bolted to that. All right, I've got it set in place, just clamped in here for right now, but I think that's somewhat close to where it wants to be. I'm gonna shut this side of the hood just to make sure we get plenty of hood side clearance. There's a ton of room in there. You could almost fit another horn in between there. So no issue with that at all. I think that'll sit pretty nicely right in there. I didn't really plan on it, but that bracket actually ends up putting it at a little bit of an angle. So kind of falls the hood angle so it works out even better look at that cut off weld it up run those leads to the wires and then we should be good to go Here's the somewhat finished product. I'll give it one last test fit, make sure everything's good, but I'm pretty sure we're all set. So once that's all set, I'll give it a last clean it up and throw some paint on it, and we should be good to go. Got the horn mounted back on the bracket, and we're just going to set it in here, throw that one bolt in there, make sure everything fits all right. Well, there it is all installed. I'll get leads made for this. Get that bracket cleaned up, get some paint on it. I made up this little jumper harness. Just plugs into the two wires. On the vehicle harness, use the same bullet connectors. Another piece of that sheathing. And it's got the little eyelets on the end that tie into the terminals right here and right down in there. This isn't the factory horn. It's probably some aftermarket one, which is why it has different terminals and the bullet ends on it. I threw a coat of paint on this bracket last night. It's not going to win any beauty contest, but it, 
it'll serve its purpose. You really can't see it anyways. I want to make sure there wasn't going to be any flex in this. It's very rugged, so that's not going to be an issue. Let's get the horn mounted back on here. We're going to mount it back in the car, plug the wire in, make sure it works, and uh, that'll be the end of it. Here's the final installation. Bracket's all painted and mounted. And it's very rugged. It's not going anywhere. I was concerned about it possibly vibrating over bumps and stuff with that extra large bracket there. But that bracket's such overkill, it's not going to go anywhere. There's plenty of room all around it here. Let's see if it actually works. Yeah, I'll need some adjusting. I think the battery's a little low. Well, there you have it. I don't think it turned out too bad considering it was made out of a bunch of scrap pieces I had laying around. If I had to go out and buy material, I probably would have done it a little differently, but this was all free aside from a little bit of MIG wire in my time. Hopefully you found this helpful if you're looking for a way to relocate your horn. Well, as always, if you haven't done so already, check down below here and find that little subscribe button and show that thing some love. And with any luck, we'll be back next week with another wicked good video for you, Bob.